Now, with the abortion ban bill heading to the House of Representatives, protesters are making their voices heard to lawmakers who voted yes on Senate Bill 1. News 10's Blake Dollier takes us to the State House for the sights and sounds of those protests. The Indiana State House had hundreds of protesters gathering outside the Senate chamber on Saturday. That's as an abortion ban bill is on its way to the House of Representatives. For the entire three hour debate over an abortion ban bill, protesters chanted outside the Senate chamber. Mandy McKean is one of those protesters against Senate Bill 1. The bill would make an abortion a level five felony with some exceptions, including rape, incest, and the life of the mother. McKean says the bill hits close to home. She says abortion care helped her through a pregnancy when she was 17. My abortion allowed me to get out of an abusive relationship, to become an adult, to be able to support the children I have, to be able to get a good job, to be able to become a productive member of society. Many Republicans in Saturday's Senate hearing argued against abortion. Their concerns were about life in the womb. They said one way to fix the problem without an abortion would be through making the adoption process easier. DCS has people that care. McKean says she disagrees and feels this solution is causing more harm than good. She says she won't stop speaking up. They have the blood of Hoosiers on their hands. Women will suffer. People, with, people who are pregnant will suffer. Um, people will die. I talked to Senator John Ford after the session. He didn't have time for an interview, but he did say that he felt the bill should move along for further consideration. Reporting from the State House, Blake Dollier, News 10.